In populated areas, the air we breathe is loaded with all kinds of nanoparticles and toxic substances, whether or not of natural origin. As a result, air quality is severely damaged. Today, air pollution is the most relevant impact of the environment on human health in the European Union. Approximately 400,000 premature deaths per year in Europe alone due to poor air hygiene. Fuel consumption in cars, airplanes, ships and industry is the prime source of particle emissions in the air we breathe. Emissions have a profound impact on human health, making air pollution from ships highly unwanted in urban areas. Nanoparticles have a large size range, from a few nanometers to a hundred thousand nanometers. Traditionally, particle sizes were measured by mass. The mass of small nanoparticles becomes insignificant compared to the particle's weight. The mass criterion for measuring is replaced by the superior number criterion. This puts particulate emissions in a completely new perspective. Nanoparticles are invisible. Think how they relate to a human hair, allergens, pollen, the flu virus, or bacteria. That's precisely the reason why nanoparticles, which are emitted by all types of engines and fuels, behave like Trojan horses once inhaled. Diesel air pollution is one of the main groups of carcinogens in our environment. The WHO decided in 2012 that exhaust gas particles would be classed as class one human carcinogens from then on. Shipping worldwide is lagging behind by far as regards particulate emissions. In addition, dredging and marine construction works are a niche market within the shipping industry. Very often, we work close to densely populated areas, harbors, coastal areas and rivers. Even though research into the health effects of nanoparticles is still in its infancy, everyone should make a maximum effort to reduce emissions as a precautionary measure. That's why we resolutely drew the public health and clean air card and aimed at pollution prevention of exhaust gases and reduction of air pollution through detoxification. For our new build vessels, we therefore decided to treat our exhaust gases. That's why we started introducing ultra-low emission vessels, or ULEVs, in our fleet. This strategy will permit another big step in emission reduction, while at the same time reducing other short-living global warming substances remarkably. Under the current IMO regulations, atmospheric emissions of all pollutants remain unregulated, except for sulfur and NOx. With our ULEVs, we meet the strictest EU Stage 5 standards. Whatever the engine technology and whichever fuel is used, only exhaust gas filtering can guarantee effective low emission results. Today, diesel particulate filters are available for all kinds of engines. Besides millions of passenger cars and trucks, already thousands of non-road mobile machines are fitted with DPFs. How does this technology work? Well, the exhaust gases pass through a Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR, filter. By adding urea, add blue, the NOx emissions are reduced. When the SCR filter is used, the engine runs in optimal conditions, therefore uses the fuel more efficiently and thus reduces its carbon footprint, even taking into account the footprint of urea. And because the blue sky is the limit, the treated exhaust gases also pass through a diesel particulate filter, or DPF. These are VERT certified and guarantee proper operation. The DPF enables us to remove 99% of all particles from the exhaust gases. At the same time, we also eliminate black carbon, a climate forcing agent a thousand times stronger than CO2. In a DPF, exhaust gases are forced to flow through a porous filter wall in which even the smallest lung-penetrating and carcinogenic particles are captured. VERT-approved DPFs are efficient sinks for nanoparticles and toxic compounds. No engines should be operated without filters to protect the health of the crew and citizens. This means Jan de Nulgroup does everything in order to disconnect its ecological footprint from its growth. In order to not only reduce our impact on air quality, but also on the climate, we opt for renewable fuel. 
When we work with 100% HVO, we are 89% climate neutral during the complete well-to-wake cycle.